It's rumored that Machi-san has taken hand-eye coordination beyond every other human on Earth. He claims to be able to cut a speeding bullet in mid-air. So we've come to a firing range outside the hills of L.A. to see if it's true. This is the size of the pellet Machi-san would try to slice with his sword. I honestly don't believe I could cut this if it was stationary on a chopping block with a chef knife. He's going to do it while it's flying through the air with a samurai sword. Not only is the pellet tiny, over 4,000 times smaller than a baseball, but when it leaves the barrel of the BB gun, it's traveling over 200 miles per hour. A normal person would have no chance of seeing the pellet. So we're using a slow motion camera to slow the action down by 250 times. And helping me is Dr. Romani Dervasula. Okay, we're ready, Kay. Kay is going to fire the pellet at Mati-san from a distance of 70 feet. I didn't see it. I saw a flash. The blade yeah. went by. All right, so we're going to play back. Let's we're going to play back. Out. Using the slow motion camera, Thanks. I want to see if Machi-san has achieved the yeah. superhuman. Wow. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, you can see the, the piece go one way, and the other one go that way. Oh, that was amazing. But how does Dr. Romani explain what she's just witnessed? This is about processing at an entirely different sensory level because he's not visually processing. This is, this is a, a different level of anticipatory processing, something so procedural, something so fluid for him. A normal person would take three-tenths of a second just to register the sound of the gun being fired before they can even start to think about reacting. By the time they move the sword into position, the pellet would have traveled past them. I think, yep, this is the one. You can see the little nick in it. This tiny little thing, the nick he took out with his sword. This is absolutely superhuman.